Now, some breaking news which is coming in right now. We're learning that a Korean YouTuber was reportedly harassed in Jodhpur. The YouTuber had come to visit Jodhpur and when she reached the Pachetia Hill to see the beauty of the city, uh, a young man who was present there reportedly acted obscenely with her. Now, the girl has posted a video on her YouTube channel about the incident. And in the video, it's uh, you can see the young man is seen chasing her. And after executing the incident, the young man also ran away. The girl saved herself by running away. All right, so that is the latest information that we're getting. This is a new incident which we're learning about where a YouTuber has been harassed, a Korean YouTuber has been harassed in Jodhpur. Now, a video has also been posted on her YouTube channel about the incident. We're trying to show you those visuals on your screens right now. Uh, remember, again, this incident. And in, this, in these visuals, you can see one individual walking behind her. Now, reportedly, the way that she got away from the individual was to run away. So in this video, I think you can reportedly probably see that in a few seconds. Now, apparently, what she's claiming is that a young man who was following her apparently acted obscenely with her. We are still unsure of whether a case has been registered, whether an FIR has been put out. But uh, the girl has posted this video, which we're showing you on her YouTube channel. We are crossing over to News 18's Bhavani Diora to get us more details on this. Uh, Bhavani ji, you can give us more details about this video. Look, this is a Korean YouTuber and this is Jodhpur's victory area, which is inside and inside. वहाँ पर ये उसको विजिट कर रही थी उस दौरान वीडियो बना रही थी उस टाइम एक लड़का जो पीछा कर रहा था तो वो उस वीडियो बना रही थी तब सामने आ रहा था फिर उसके बाद में जब वो अश्लील हरकतें करने लगा लेकिन उन्होंने पूरी जो घटना थी पूरी की पूरी अपने कैमरे के अंदर कैप्चर कर ली उसके बाद में उन्होंने वो पूरा वीडियो अपलोड किया उन्होंने और हालांकि उन्होंने पुलिस में कोई ऑफिशियल कंप्लेन दर्ज नहीं कराई लेकिन जैसे ही वीडियो अपलोड किया उसके बाद में पुलिस ने जो ये लड़का है उसको डिटेन कर लिया हिरासत में ले लिया और उससे फिर पूछताछ की गई है अभी कहा गया है कि ये मानसिक स्थिति उस लड़के की ठीक नहीं है लेकिन क्योंकि पूरी इन्वेस्टिगेशन की जा रही है और इस पूरे मामले में पुलिस ने कहा कि और कार्रवाई की जाएगी और जो यूट्यूबर जिसके साथ जो ये छेड़छाड़ की घटना है उससे भी बात करके उसके बाद आगे एक्शन और लिया जाए जी जी वो लेटेस्ट डेवलपमेंट है पर तो अभी आप कह रहे कि केस में अभी क्वेश्चनिंग हो रहा है वो जो इंडिविजुअल के साथ जो आदमी हम देख रहे हैं वीडियो में जी 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 और आपको पता है कि वो क्वेश्चनिंग का लाइन क्या है हो क्या होगा अभी अब उस दो तीन क्योंकि पुलिस के सामने सबसे बड़ी चुनौती ये थी कि जो यूट्यूबर महिला है उसने अभी तक फॉर्मल केस दर्ज नहीं कराया था तो एक तो ये है कि उससे बात करके कि क्योंकि ये वीडियो है इसी के आधार से इन्वेस्टिगेशन हो रही है कि वो वहाँ पर केस लड़का कैसे पहुँचा और उसने पीछा क्यों किया उसके साथ छेड़छाड़ की तो ये तमाम चीजों पर बातचीत की जाएगी लेकिन आगे का जो फर्दर एक्शन है क्योंकि जो अभी तक केस रजिस्टर हुआ वो सिर्फ शांति भंग के आरोप से हुआ जो मोलिस्ट्रेशन का केस होता है वो धाराएं उस पर अभी नहीं लगाई गई है तो हो सकता है पूछताछ के बाद में पुलिस वो धाराएं लगाए और उसके बाद में कड़ा एक्शन हो जी और जो यूट्यूबर है वो अभी तक पुलिस को स्टेटमेंट दिया है ये अभी यूट्यूबर ने स्टेटमेंट नहीं दिया पुलिस उससे कॉन्टेक्ट करने की कोशिश करी है और आज उसका स्टेटमेंट हो सकता है उस स्टेटमेंट के बाद में लगता है कि पुलिस जो आगे अभी जो केस के अंदर जो शांति भंग का केस दर्ज है उसको फिर मोलिस्ट्रेशन के केस के अंदर दर्ज किया जा सकता है छेड़छाड़ का केस दर्ज पेस कर सकती जी जी बाबा जी जी शुक्रिया हमें वो डिटेल्स देने के लिए वी आर ऑल्सो नाउ बीइंग जॉइंड ऑन द लाइन बाय मिस ब्रिंदा डीगे हु इज एन एक्टिविस्ट मिस डीगे देयर इज दिस इंसिडेंट दैट वी आर रिपोर्टिंग ऑन इट्स अ ब्रेकिंग डेवलपमेंट वेयर अ कोरियन यूट्यूबर वाज हरास्ड बाय अ मैन हु इज नाउ इन कस्टडी एंड इज बीइंग क्वेश्चनड दिस टुक प्लेस इन जोधपुर व्हाइल शी वाज साइट सीइंग कुड वी हैव योर फर्स्ट रिएक्शन टू दिस प्लीज सच अ शेमलेस बिहेवियर एंड ऑल ऑफ अस हैव टू हैंग आवर हेड्स इन शेम we keep talking about guests being welcomed in our country and tourists being welcomed and being feeling that safety you have this fellow who is harassing her this is street sexual harassment but the police 
or others who do not look at it as street sexual harassment they continue to look at it that this is what boys do and this is what gets promoted by leaders and politicians mm-hmm. and i'm glad that she has called out this fellow uh, through this youtube uh, clip where many of us don't have that luxury and she has been able to make this kind of a video post it on and i'm glad that the jodhpur police have arrested this guy but let us also keep in mind that just having him arrested or apprehended and brought to police station is not enough it is important that the police register a full fledged case so that there is trial there is a charge sheet there is a trial and this fellow is duly punished as per our ipc otherwise these things will continue to happen and we can never say that forget all of us being safe over here but even tourists are not going to be safe and they will not be respected and this is not what our culture is and this is not what my government promises to the tourists Absolutely. especially women tourists what larger action do you think needs to be taken there is jail term as well as a uh, fine to be paid i think the judge has the discretionary power to award both of it to him let him pay a fine as well as stay in jail for the stipulated time as per the crpc because you can file 509 as well as 354 on this uh, uh, per- perpetrator because you can see that he is also flashing over there and that is unacceptable this is not simply street sexual harassment it goes beyond that so both of it must be a punishment let it be even if it is an example set as a first time let it be done it is important that our patriarchal systems and functionaries must understand that these are crimes against women mm-hmm. this is violence against women and it should not be treated lightly by even the judges and the prosecutors Absolutely but on that note on a larger scale when we're talking about society as a whole when we're talking about this incident that's taking place in Jodhpur uh, when it comes to India and the culture that we are trying to push forth what do you think needs to be done on a larger scale to deal with harassment issues like this education is very important education from the school itself from okay. our homes from the schools from the colleges but it is also important that our films and tv serials and media don't romanticize street sexual harassment that is what has been happening so many of the men feel that this is a kind of machoism the, the the they feel a kind of pride in doing these kind of things and that must be shattered because this patriarchal chauvinistic attitudes builds on people and that also takes a different color and tone when women and elders assume that this is okay mm-hmm. it's, it's just a crime it, it's just something that boys do they must understand that this is a criminal offense this is street sexual harassment for which india has ipcs and they have to be proce- proceeded in that manner only absolutely mr da thank you so much for speaking to cnn news 18 and for giving us your perspective on this incident well we will continue to track the developments in this story but for right now we're heading into a very short break